welcome to the Fruit and Fly Show. I am October and I am the Fruit. And I'm Ashley and I'm the Fly. And of course we have our special guest, Teeny Bob, and she's back again with us. Hi everybody. And this is part three. But before we start any segment, we want to show you our new set. It's wonderful, isn't it? You know you want to comment on it, so comment on us and let you know what you think about our new set and keep giving us new topics to talk about. We need topics. We need topics. We want funny topics, too. We want yeah, the serious stuff. Yeah, we don't stuff. just want serious stuff. We want the funny stuff. We want the just absolutely are you fucking kidding me stuff. So right. we want everything from you guys. Our first topic today, really exciting to me, just... I'm amazingly excited about it. The before Coco Chanel movie. I'm excited. Right? I really want to see the Coco Chanel movie. I didn't know it was called lifetime. before Coco Chanel. I just thought it was Coco Chanel. So that's why I had that little... Anyways. On um, Lifetime. And it's on Lifetime. And it looks like Anne Fontaine directed it. And I don't know... Oh! Audrey Tattoo. Looks like Audrey Tattoo is going to be playing Coco Chanel. She looks almost like her. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot it's of it. It's a little weird. It's kind of creepy. But she looks good. But it, it def I've right. seen previews, and the previews definitely look like it's going to be a really good movie. So for all of you fucking faggots out there, you need to go watch this movie. Do we really have to fucking faggot people? Yes, we have to fucking faggot people. I guess coming from a fucking faggot, I guess you could say fucking faggot. But fucking faggot. To all of you fruits out there... All of our viewing audience, anybody, fruits, not so fruit, rotten fruit, good fruit, I don't care what you are, watch the movie, tell us what you thought about it, because believe me, we will be watching it, and we will be talking about it, because we are very excited. Another movie that I'm a little upset about is the new Harry Potter movie and how they pushed it back. Right, so I am a freakishly crazy Harry Potter fan. Love it, and there was there every time a book was out at midnight because it was just that damn badass. Then I was sitting here patiently waiting on pins and needles for November to come, and what happens? I pull up Yahoo.com and da da da. They pushed it back to next July. Pissed off because now that makes it over. It'll be a year and a half before the next movie comes out. <laughs> so, anyways. All right, our next topic is clean house. So my new guilty pleasure to watch the last like three weeks has been Nisi. the show called oh, Clean House with New Snitch. But she hasn't been in a few new ones. No, apparently there's this new white girl taking over, and I'm telling you, she just does not I'm a have. Upset. Mm -hmm. She just does not have the. There's Nisi no sparks. No, it's kind of no. upsetting. I'm sorry, but it's just. We need, we need Nisi, Nisi back. We need Nisi back. I want, this I want, is a plea. I want the teeth. I want, I want the teeth. We I want it. the teeth and the hair. And the flower. I'm yeah. going to bring a flower. flower until she comes back. I will wear a flower every day. Remember that. Next time I'm on, I will have a flower in memory of Nisi Nash. Nisi until she comes back. House. When she comes back, we will throw a party. My question is, how the fuck does your house get like that? How does that happen? Lazy. I mean... Seriously, there are these people that are like, this is my bedroom. There's no bed. Like, seriously, a lot of these people that I'm seeing on this show, I'm really wondering if they don't just th go junking every garbage <laughs> night and just bring amazing amounts of shit into their house and then take a video camera, videotape it all, and they're like, oh, I need clean house. Why? Because you want a new fucking cow. Don't feel like doing it yourself, so you call Clean House, because you know that they're going to come clean it all up and sell it for you. Right. And give you nice new stuff. Right. Right. They'll gift you something. And then the other thing is, these people are holding on to this crazy shit. They're like, no, you can't have that lamp from 80 years ago when my grandma was still alive and she just loved it. No, no, no. no you can't have it. My favorite was the guy with the bad back. And oh, he didn't want to give away his right. plane. He it wasn't even done yet. Yeah. No, the plane was done. Oh, was it? He just had never used it before because it wasn't the season. And then every time they would say, so, we, so Joe Schmo, we need you to help us with this, he'd go, my back hurts, and go and take a nap. And then what you would she do? You look like a fucktard, Joe right? Schmo. 
fuck tar. Right? Because that family was ridiculous. Right? That was the one with the, they had a closet full of cat litter and shit that was like two feet high. Two feet high? You are fucking disgusting. What is that? How do you live like that? I mean, the smell. Ugh. I mean, okay, mixed messages in relationships. <coughs> Here's the deal. We're just going to do this short, sweet, and to the point. Mixed messages in a relationship. If you're giving mixed, mix, mixed messages, stop. If you're getting mixed messages, fucking punch them. And then make them stop. Friendships. One is too much, really too much. Don't ever take advantage of your friends. Right. Because your friends, when your family and anyone else turns their back on you, your good friends are always going to be there for you and you can never take granted. And don't ever put a friend aside for a boy or a girl that you're dating or in love with because I'm telling you right now, that bastard or that bitch will be gone and those friends are going to be the only people you're going to have in your life and if you fuck them over now, they're going to be gone whenever that other person's gone. Oh, we know someone like that. He lives alone. right down the road. Right? Oh, oh, oh. Cheaters part three. Right? We have we another have a third comment. version. We have another comment on this subject from our very first episode when we had first started talking about it. Okay, so here's a comment from a viewer named Val. She says, I'm leaving a comment for the cheater one. It's not okay for anyone to cheat. And I feel that since this guy loves to have pussy every six months or so, then he isn't gay. He's bi and really just needs to stop lying to himself and to his man. I love the show and I think it's a good idea. Much love to you all. Thank you, Val. We appreciate it and we completely agree with everything you said. It is definitely a bad situation, which has gotten, I don't know if it's gotten worse or if it's gotten better. Either way, it's just gotten somewhere. But we will definitely keep every one of you updated on the situation yes. as it unfolds. Yes, any new comments you have? Remember, comments, comments, comments. Topics, topics, topics. We love, we need more topics. We want to hear what you guys want to see. Otherwise, we're just sitting up here talking. Right. And, um, Take a look at our outtakes. Yes. Uh, hilarious. Funny shit. <coughs> you um, fucking die. By the way, if you're going to leave us comments, if you're going to comment on our videos at all, they are on our MySpaces, on our individual MySpaces, but they are also on YouTube, and that's where we need your comments the most because... That is how we will be. We will get more viewers. That's how we'll get more topics, and that's how we'll still be giving you the same wonderful show that you guys are enjoying so far. Um, www.youtube.com/slash/thefruitandflyshow. No spaces, all lowercase. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.